Hello, this is the Wall 200. I'm here with another video. Today's video is going to be about uh, the, um, I guess, talking about if Frieza is going to become the next villain of the Dragon Ball arc or the next arc because Super's ending. We don't know if there's going to be another arc or the series is going to continue at all, but um, Super's ending, so it might come back as a, a different title than Dragon Ball Super, but we don't know that. But, um, I hope this kind of doesn't happen where Frieza becomes the next uh, villain when he gets his wish. Maybe his wish is to uh, rule over Zeno, which would be uh, very interesting to see, actually, if uh, now I'm thinking about it. But uh, Frieza, in my opinion, has been overdone so many times that um, I really hope he's not the next villain and they come up with something a little bit more original than uh, another Frieza arc because it's getting a little old. I, I kind of like him as his role right now. It's a little bit different. You know, he's like helping out. He's helping out uh, so that, um, they don't get wiped out and he gets revived and maybe he tries to use the Dragon Balls for some kind of his um, evil plan. We don't know that. We don't know the resolution between that until um, upcoming real soon. So but I, I know he's very remarkable and he's and stuff like that they just do it uh brought him back for pretty much the money a lot of people like him a lot more than uh just some random i guess uh villain that we don't know or hasn't been established i get that but at the same time i really don't want another repeat of a frieza saga <laughs> again like he's, he's brought back like three times now well, first in the namek saga then just before the androids then back into the movie so um I really, really hope they come up with something a little bit different. I like that's why I kind of like Dragon Ball Super with Terminal Power, regardless of its uh, flaws. Is like it doesn't have a villain, you know. It it's it took a different kind of a turn where they're just doing a survival kind of thing. There's no real villain there. They're just trying to uh, uh, you know survive. So I kind of like the aspect of like they're changing the formula up a little bit instead of, you know, villain after villain and, you know, training and same kind of formula. This is, uh, this is way different. So <clears throat> I really actually like this kind of, uh, I guess, uh, arc where there is no villain, but <clears throat> hopefully they, uh, don't actually do this because I really am sick of Frieza appearing over and over and over, um, the odds are um, of getting an actual new villain that's totally original is a little bit far-fetched. Um, a lot of people want to see the you know demon realm, which would be very interesting to see. We don't know what's uh, you know in that realm or what kind of um, people you know things that live in there, kind of demons that live in there. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen either. Just I just don't see it. But a Frieza arc, another Frieza arc, is a really high probability. Mainly, as I said before, it's very remarkable. He's like, you know, a lot. Of, he has a lot of fans. He's evil as fuck. So, you know, why not? It's easy like that, and he's not that difficult to really write for. But if you, uh, you know, write in a different villain altogether, you have to go into his backstory, and that's kind of what happened with you know Black, Goku Black. Even though. You, you know, we had to establish everything pretty much from the beginning. I just don't see them doing that because it just takes too much, I guess, effort on their part. I know that sounds a bit weird, but it'd be like cheaper just to use Frieza and go from there. And, you know, easier to write for. He's well established. He's very markable. So it'd be just 100 times easier if they went for Frieza. But I really <laughs> hope to God they don't do this if they continue this series. It's off to say, thank you for listening, right, comment, subscribe.